Hi guys. Oh my gosh, I know it's been a hot minute since I have made a video and updated y'all on what is going on. So I thought I would, you know, make a video today and tell y'all what has been going on. So today is my two and a half year anniversary since I received my bone marrow transplant, which is so crazy that it has been two and a half years. And I just wanted to kind of update everybody on how I'm doing and what I had done because I still get lots of questions. And I also invite you to ask me follow-up questions if you have any. So, um, two, so, sorry, I have to look at my notes. Two and a half years ago, I had a allogenic transplant, which allogenic means I was not and am not related to my donor who donated bone marrow for me. Um, I had this bone marrow transplant because I had MDS, otherwise known as myelodysplastic disorder. And yes, I am 99.9% .9 sure I totally butchered that. Um, I am one of the rare cases who developed MDS from my breast cancer chemotherapy when I had stage one breast cancer. So it developed into MDS that would, let's see, I had stage one in 2008. So then I was diagnosed with MDS in 2015, 16, 16, 2016. And that is also when I had my bone marrow transplant, October 30th, 2016. See, my mind, crazy. So, um, in these two and a half years, I have experienced what they call GVH, which is gross, not gross, which is graft versus host. And pretty much it means just what it sounds like, graft, that my new blood cells were fighting with my old blood cells to see who was gonna win this battle of the body. And, um, you know, GVH flare-ups are nothing to blink an eye at. Like, I've had some pretty rough GVH flare-ups, and my flare-ups usually happen in my respiratory system, in my lady parts, and my bowels, and... Um, Sometimes I have weird skin issues, sometimes I don't, but more so lately than not, I haven't had any flare-ups, which has been outstanding. Like, honestly, I don't think I've had a flare-up in probably three months, three to four months. Holy moly, that's awesome. I hadn't even thought of that. And so now my next part to all of y'all out there who maybe just had a bone marrow transplant or are still in the first few years of it, I want you to know that yes, it does get better. And yes, you will start feeling better. Um, no, it does not happen all at once. And just because it happens one week doesn't mean it's not gonna go back to feeling like crap for a little bit. Um, yeah, it this these past two and a half years have been major up and down. Feeling good, not feeling good, um, tired, 
getting sick easily, just, you know, something a brand new immune system has to deal with. But um, what I'm here to say now is that, you know, these two and a half years, these pa I would say this pa these past two months have been like awesome and things are just feeling back in like no, I'm not going to say back to normal because I hate that because one this is my new normal and it is what it is so I'm going to say my energy for these past two months has seemed more consistent um, like I can mostly plan my days and I do a, I plan my days in four hour segments and that entails like I do something for an hour and then I have to rest and then you know I usually need to eat something and then I do a little something more and then I need a longer rest so I'm still you know learning to manage my energy and that is just such an important thing for you out there who have gone through something like this learning to manage your energy and your expectations of your energy is one of the most important healing tools I can offer you um, advice with and yeah so I've been working out daily which is awesome I've been riding the recumbent bike and I started a private training kickboxing with my friend who is awesome so that feels good and it feels so good to knock the crap out of those bags love it and yeah like life is just beautiful and is getting more glorious every day and my energy is abundant and beautiful and i could not be in a better or happier place than i am now and I want to thank you all for your thoughts and prayers and sweet messages y'all have sent over time. And I just want you to know that I'm back. I'm ready to continue sharing my messages of hope and inspiration with you. And yeah, let's enjoy the ride together. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.